Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Boat. My name is Kelly. I'm here at SEMA 2021 where I have searched high and low for all of the best new essentials in anything overlanding. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So SEMA has been absolutely insane. It is so much going on here, but I have scoured over the last couple days and found five of the best new innovations in anything overlanding. Let's get into it. All right guys, I'm here at the Diodynamics booth with Paul. And Paul, you guys have an awesome new light that just came out for SEMA 2021. What do you got? That's right, I appreciate it. Um, we have our new SS5 LED. So we've been developing some smaller lights in a three inch size, two inch, one inch. And now we've got this new five inch size, really popular uh, look, of course, as you can kind of see behind me. Um, but it's got a lot of great new technology and some extra features that really set it apart as well. The, the pod itself is a like five inch construction. So, you know, that five inch size, it's kind of almost a square, but it's rounded corners. So it really looks nice in a lot of applications. Really durable construction, IP69K, uh, you know, intrusion rating, just super, super durable, completely waterproof. Um, and But the big thing is it uses those stage series optics. So TIR technology, it's, it's not anything super new, but nowadays you can get them really precise with optical design software and everything to get really great performance out of these this style optics. So totally custom engineered to offer four different beam patterns. We got this in a combo, of course, but also a full spot, a flood, and then a driving pattern, which is going to be really versatile if you want to throw light down the road. Um, this comes in white and yellow as well, and all those optics are interchangeable. So if you you know get a pair of spotlights and you decide down the road, put it on a different vehicle, is it driving lights, get the lens, get your eight screws out, pop it off in about five minutes, so you can change that out yourself. So again, very versatile in how these are uh, put together. And of course, we have them linking together as well with our cross-link technology. So we've got a single piece, really rigid link in between these. It's got little alignment points on it, so you can line this up on each pod. Uh, nice inset threading on this, super durable. If these aren't used, we actually provide you with little inset screws to protect those threads even. Um, but it'll just link together. And when this is assembled, totally rigid. You wouldn't even know it's screwed together. It's with this single piece patent pending here with this linking to make it a really nice, durable uh, connection point to link either two, uh, four, or all the way up to eight of these together. Yeah, perfect. I see them here on the Bronco you've got displayed, and these these lights are really, really nice. In a, almost a light bar pattern, you know, the way they're linked together, there's a perfect gap between the two. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, we really focused on trying to get a nice spacing to it so you could still kind of see those pods, but not so much that you're looking more at that link in between them. So I think it really turned out with the different sizes. That eight pod bar basically matches your 50 inch light bar size. All right, and I have a huge amount of diodynamic lights on my truck already. How, how is the white light going to compare as far as the hue in the, the Candela compared to the other, like the SS2s and the SS4s? Sure, so with all of our white lights, we really control that carefully. We assemble all these in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, and so when we bring every batch of LEDs in the door, we test that. Even from the manufacturer, they're all identical but we test that as well before they're even assembled, just the individual chips. And that lets us make sure that every single white is gonna be a perfect match across the board. Excellent, and tell me about the backlight feature. I know that there's something different with the backlight on these lights. That's right, yeah, I, I totally forgot about that. So I mean, these I, I love these because they're super high power main beam, like the spot that I have here, this shines almost a mile away, just the one pod. Um, 400,000 candela, which is 10 times brighter than most high beam distance. So if you want to add like really far distance, if you're driving around in desert, the high power is what I like the most. But I know that a lot of people like showing off their lights too. So here you can see our backlight feature. With the yellow, you're going to get a nice amber backlight that you can see because it's a yellow lens. But on our white version here, you can actually choose whatever backlight you want. On our smaller pods, we have the backlight, but with them being that small, you kind of have to pick the color, whether it's red, blue, order them that way. This one, we had a little bit more room in there to add some extra circuitry. So as a result, all you have to do is basically alternate, switch them off and on. And as you're doing that, you'll be able to start changing the color. And whatever you leave it to, that'll save that color. So of course, if you want to show it off, you know, at a parking lot or something, flip them to green, green and yellow, it's a nice look. Um, but then when you're ready to get back on the road or just, you know, get a little more, clean it up a bit, you can flip it back to white whenever you'd like. And I mean, the last thing is these are great value as well. So I mean, 
for the size, these are quite a bit more powerful than the other five, six options on the market, five to six inch options. Um, but these are going to be around 220 a piece starting. So I mean, 50 inch light bar like this, big light bar, brackets, wire connectors to plug it together. We're going to be around the $1,700 you know, dollar price point. And uh, again, a little bit more with uh, certain brackets for vehicle specific, but you can get a really nice setup for less than $2,000. And again, this is going to make your vehicle way brighter than any other lighting from any other brand. Where yeah. can people find you guys at? All of our products are available directly at diodynamics.com. Uh, a lot of our products are on Amazon Prime these days too, but we have a great network of dealers and distributors that you can find us at as well. Um, and I'd encourage you to just check it out, You know, make your shopping decision online um, and pick up whatever you might need. Awesome, Paul. Thank you so much. You guys are killing it here. You have a great SEMA. Thanks so much. You too. It's nice meeting you. All right, guys, we're here at Rescue Wrench, and Michael, you guys have a really cool new invention that I've never seen before. What do you have here? So this is the world's first continuous capstan. So for thousands of years, winching has been the same. It's a winding line around a drum, and uh, this continuous capstan um, processes the rope. So it really climbs the rope. So uh, we come in through a fair lead and uh, we wrap 10 times uh, around our uh, capstan mechanism and then spit the line out. So we're really processing rope rather than spooling rope. Okay, and where did this innovation come from? Like what, what sparked this, this, uh, this innovation? Some of this comes from uh, one of our sister companies within Hall Labs is Garage Smart. And they do these uh, overhead um, overhead hoist for uh, doing like uh, hard top lifters, for, for lifting those and uh, whole lots of other things. And so they developed a lot of technology around uh, guiding the line to, to keep uh, things from spooling and getting uh, all tangled up. And so we were a bit of an offshoot from that. We were looking at how to make something larger and we recognized this this uh, really problem with within the, the winching industry where, you know, if you're mounted to the front, um, you're limited in, in how you can rescue. Uh, also, you've got to uh, install a steel bumper, and it isn't just the winch when you, when you buy that. You, you've got the, uh, all the other overhead that goes with it. So we really wanted to make a light, packable, portable solution that was very versatile, that was hand-powered, that uh, really you could just grab and uh, take to the trail. Oh, so this is completely hand-powered. There's no electronics in it at all. Correct. Yeah, so this is uh, it's about 30 pounds for, for the entire thing, the space. It's about the size of a jerry can. We did we did that on purpose so this could easily be be stowed away and then really they're ready for, for any kind of problem that you get into as part of our motivation to make make this one hand powered. For winching, is there a gross vehicle capacity for this system or is it just kind of as much as your body can, can pull? So the, the capacity is up to 10,000 pounds. Um, but, but yeah, the, uh, the decision of whether to go single line, double line, triple, that's, that's going to be how strong you are. But uh, generally what we tell people is for a UTV or, or a four-wheeler, single line is going to be fine. It comes with uh, two snatch rings and four uh, soft shackles so that you can set up a double line pull, which would be good for an SUV, a Jeep. Um, if you get a truck, something pretty heavy, you may want to do the triple line, and that's where the 10,000-pound capacity would come in. Less constrained by really the device and more just about how strong you are, but we, we did it based on average human can 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 push a, you know 100 pounds, but yeah, your results may vary. That's really cool. That's something that I have never even heard of before, but I think it's a great alternative to either not having a winch and needing one, or like you said, the second winch. If I'm doing my math correct, it's 100 foot of line, so a single pull, you'd be able to do a 100 foot recovery, and then a double pull, a 50 foot recovery, and then obviously a triple pull, a 33 foot recovery. Is that kind of, am I in the ballpark there? Yeah, correct. And and like I mentioned too, we we do envision in the future. We, it's theoretically it's unlimited line length. We're we're going to be including a hundred feet, but we can envision doing different accessory packs in the future. With with uh, what we did here was kind of the basics to to, to get you going. But uh, yeah, if if people need something longer than that, we could accommodate. That's perfect. All right, what is the price point on this item? So we're seven ninety nine for the for everything we mentioned. Okay, and where can people find you guys at? So it's uh, myrescuewinch.com, and uh, if you go there, you can find out, you can follow us, get more information about uh, our upcoming launch and uh, our progress towards getting this on the market. You guys definitely got to check this out. This is definitely either a first or good second option for getting out of a sticky situation. So, Michael, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys are going to make a killing with this thing.
Thank you very much. All right, guys, we're here at iCamper with Eric. And Eric, you guys have a new, I want to say Scottle, but it's not a Scottle. You guys are calling it something different, right? What is it? We're calling this the Disco Series Cook System. That's actually a really catchy name. I like it. Is, it. it is. All right, so, but it is, in essence, kind of like a Scottle, right? It's in the same idea of, a, of what that is? It is, yes. It, it comes from a South African traditional way of cooking there. Um, so, yeah, we've got kind of a, we call it the Disco Skillet, which would be what you would maybe call the Scottle previously. Um, and we kind of just put uh, a new, more improved take on that system for us. All right, excellent. And what sets your system apart from, say, the Scottle itself? I would say the incredible versatility that we have with this. So the, uh, the adjustable legs of the tripod, um, you can go from knee height to chest height to a little bit higher so you can cook standing up, sitting down. You can actually remove the burner system from the tripod. So you can take that and use our burner on any table you'd like to. Um, and then at the same time, you could take the tripod and hang the scottle and the disco skillet over a fire and cook over the fire with an adjustable pulley system. So you can kind of do multi, multi-level cooking all with one device here. Oh, I like things you can, you know, multiple uses, yeah. using good use of space, right? Of course, of course. It's all it's super important. <laughs> and I noticed too, you have the ability to kind of add accessories to it. Is that come with it or is that a, an optional thing? It does. So everything's going to come with it. You have the, the Disco Series tripod, the, um, the skillet, and then you're going to have the table accessory, and then the pulley system that's integrated into the tripod as well. Okay, and how long typically would it take to disassemble and reassemble the, uh, the disco? I would say you're looking at a minute to a minute and a half. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Pretty quick. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, now have you had anything off of it? Have you cooked anything on there? I have had so much off of it. Yes, I, I've been I've been lucky enough to be a part of the R&D on this one, uh, which has been great. Um, and one of the one of the cooler features as well is that our cast iron skillet is pre-seasoned. So honestly, you you don't need to do any of the crazy scrubbing or whatnot. Once you're done, we've been wiping it with paper towels, and you're putting it back in the bag. Oh wow! So do you have to season it after every time you use it? No, it, it's the, the the great thing is it's pre-seasoned, so it has uh, an enamel ceramic coating on there, so it's already going to be naturally non-stick due to that. Oh wow, that's super cool. Yeah, like breakfast is super important to me. It Eggs, is. bacon, how's it do? It's ideal. So you're getting your bacon down there first, get that all cooked up, move it to the side because we have kind of a differentiating uh, heated surface there. So right in the middle is going to be the main the main heat zone and you can keep things warm on the outside. So get your bacon done, toss it on the outside, start the eggs in there, get the hash browns after that, warm the biscuits up, you know, live in the dream. Excellent. You know, iCamper, you guys have just been super, super cool with all the innovations for the us overlanders. And one more thing to add to the checklist of must haves from iCamper. I appreciate that. We do our best to try and come up with the most innovative, the highest quality, and the stuff that everybody asks for. We want to be that for you guys, for the adventure community, and uh, I think we're doing pretty well so far. Yeah, you definitely are. And what is the price point on this? So this one is coming out at 490 retail. Currently, uh, for the month of November, it's on Kickstarter, um, just to offer some add-ons for people and get some uh, excitement going in the larger community. So there's going to be some discounts in that realm. But once we go full retail with it, it's going to be $490. Perfect. And where can people find you guys at? Um, iCamper.com is a great place to find everything we have. And then we have independent retailers all across the country. We're also sold in REI. Um, so uh, lots of access points for everybody. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm here with James from American Adventure Lab. And James, you guys have a really cool new modular spare tire carrier. Tell me all about it. Okay. So this is what we're calling our spare tire platform. So a lot of our products are very vehicle specific. So we wanted to come out with something that could fit not only a wide variety of vehicles, but different applications for you know activities right so anything from uh, this particular model will fit anything from a 33 to a 40 inch tire it's fully adjustable and we're actually going to be coming out with a, a smaller version maybe the spare tire platform mini we call it like a stp mini maybe um, that'll go even smaller than that for some of the uh, maybe adventure vans that are run like 31, 32 inch tires, smaller tires. Um, but we've run these things anywhere from, like I said, on a 40, on a pretty serious rock crawler rig, um, down to just your everyday at home, you know, guy that goes out on the weekends. Um, we've got it set up here, not only to incorporate our pattern that we use on our platforms for all of our tie downs and things that we sell, um, but we also uh, have it to where it can take the max tracks so there's an, an add-on bracket for that that also holds uh, roto packs 
So that's, you know, obviously commonly used stuff in the industry, uh, you know, and, and that kind of stuff really just is easy on the outside out here. It's lightweight, so you're not putting a lot of weight on it. Uh, we typically, you'll use it for chairs, tents, uh, firewood, even things that are, you know, lighter weight. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't put a transfer case up there or anything like that, you know, or a big log, but, you know, you could really do kind of whatever you want to with it. And it's easy to take off. It holds on with just two one inch ratchet straps. You can use it with a flat tire if you need to. Um, it'll all cinch down still. It only takes about, I don't know, 30 seconds to get it off, throw it in your garage or whatever the case is. Uh, it's a piece of cake. And we offer it anything from raw to custom powder coating. Excellent. And I, I was going to ask you the mounting situation. So it is a ratchet strap type mounting. It is. Now you can use your one inch ratchet strap that you would buy at Home Depot if you want, uh, but we also sell a max tie down strap that he has made for this for us. It's double wound, so where it goes over any aluminum or spoke of a wheel or anything like that, it's not ever gonna chafe uh, or scratch the wheel or anything like that. And, uh, and I don't know if I mentioned it before, but it's all aluminum. So the whole unit and everything weighs about 18 pounds. So it's really easy to get on and off no matter what, even if it's up high. Uh, you know, it's 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 a pretty cool unit. It's all aluminum, 5052 aluminum, laser cut, bent. There's no welding. It's all bolt-on. It ships fast, and uh, we can get them out the door real quick. I know that these are now showing with Rotopacks and the the uh, uh, Max Tracks. Are there any other options for accessories for this? So. We're, we're open for all kinds of suggestions from the market, obviously. Um, but the things we've kind of got in mind already would be possibly electric chainsaws, maybe. Um, maybe jack of some sort. You know, just common stuff people are putting on the outside. I mean, that kind of covers it, right? Like rotopacks of, of water, fuel, or they even have their storage boxes that they've got. Uh, Max tracks, obviously, you could put several sets on here if you needed to. Um, and then the joy of it is really you could throw anything else up here and lash it down, you know? I mean, and if there's enough repeat requests for it, we'll certainly make stuff that bolts all, like we'll cover this thing up if we need to. Yeah, you know, it'd be really nice, would be like a trash bag or something like oh, that for, for, sure. for garbage and firewood and whatnot. Absolutely, yeah, I mean, that could be really simple. So what's cool about these things too is all these side rails will come off if you need to, um, but you can also flip them upside down. So you could easily hang them down, strap something to the bottom of it, you know, so it's pretty versatile. Now, what is the price point on this again? I want to say it starts right around 300 bucks. And then the uh, max the max tracks and the rotopack brackets, I think are about another $100. And then I think it adds a little bit for powder as well. All right, perfect. And where can people find you guys at? AmericanAdventureLab.com. Uh, yeah, you def guys got to definitely check this thing out. It's really cool. Versatile, fits any spare tire. I definitely can see this on my truck. So we'll have to keep that in mind. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. You bet. Thanks. Have a good show. All right, guys, if you are a fan of what we're doing here at Adventure Built, be sure to subscribe so you can see all of the awesome new content we put out every single week. All right, guys, I'm here at the Smitty Built boot with Matt, and Matt is an R&D engineer whiz. And Matt, you guys have a really cool new winch line and winch out. What do you got? Right, so we have our new hookless uh, winch rope. So it eliminates the needs for, you know, winch hooks, shackles or other accessories so you don't need to take anything on and off change it out uh, it's really innovative so it's similar to what uh, a normal soft shackle would be but now we've implemented it on a winch rope so the rope is 98 feet it's made of 100 percent specter fiber so it's very strong and abrasive resistance best cool part about it like i mentioned you don't need any hooks so it incorporates a soft shackle where you just put it through the loop. You can run it through a D-ring. You can wrap it around a tree. The end of the rope comes with 16 feet of red braided sleeve to reduce heat and also let the consumer know that they're too far out. You know, if you get too far out, then you're putting all the weight onto the drum. So that can cause damage to the winch and to the rope. That's excellent. So it's really a big safety feature also because you're removing all the hardware out of the system. It's going to be one encapsulated system, a lot less failure points, so it's going to be a lot safer. You're not going to have, if something breaks, you're not going to have that big retraction and cause any kind of flying object towards the, the winch, right? Right. That's a good point, which I should have brought up. It's extremely safe. You know, there's no metal involved, obviously, 
so it provides uh, consumers with a safe. And what do you think would be the most optimal way to secure this onto the bumper, you know, for just for daily travel back and forth and not actually utilization? When you have the hook, normally people connect it to like the D-ring. This will suck up right to the fair lead. So then you have your point right there, put your winch in the free spool, pull it out. There's no disconnecting it from your bumper or another attachment point. Again, I mean, it's quicker, easier, safer. It's just the ultimate winch line. Yeah, it sounds like a win, win, and a win. It's uh, it's really cool. I cannot wait to get my hands on one of these. And you guys also have a new winch out, right? We're coming out this month with our brand new X20 Gen 3 winch. Uh, there's a lot more features. This is the best winch we've ever have offered. So um, a lot of the new things about this winch is the control box comes installed on the winch. There's no more connecting brackets, installing it. The synthetic rope comes installed on the winch. We've integrated the power cables from the control box to the motor. So there's no extra wiring. All you have to do is remove this winch from the box, connect the power cable and the negative cable to your battery, and you're ready to go. It is fast, easy, and simple. So that's the biggest thing, but we also now include our Delta hook with the winch and it's removable. So you can attach different accessories if you want. Um, comes with a lighted control box, comes with customizable armor like our XRC does. So you can take it off, paint it, color match it to your vehicle. Cause I mean, your winch is the center focal point of any vehicle. That's what people look at. People want it to not only work, but look good too. And this winch is faster than our, we've increased the line speed. The motor is increased to seven horsepower from six. Uh, it's got a lifetime mechanical warranty, five year electrical warranty. You just cannot go wrong with the X20 Gen 3 winch. And it looks really cool too. I like the accent lighting on there. Now is that supposed to be a functional light or is it just more of a use for night light? Yeah, it's just more aesthetic, you know, like, hey, look at this winch. This is a stealthy, dark, powerful winch. And then we also, with our Gen 3, a lot of consumers wanted uh, our remote control, our wireless remote to have a rechargeable battery. This one does. So you never need to replace the battery. It won't go bad. It comes with a USB cable you can plug in and charge. So it's always ready to go. That's really cool. Now, is there also an, is there option to get the new winch line in the new winch? Or is that something you have to buy extra and then add it in yourself? Yeah, that would be something you would have to add extra. You know, it does come with a, a synthetic rope, but not our new hookless rope. Uh, but you can always add that later if that's the route you want to go. Because again, that hookless rope has a lot of added features that a normal standard synthetic rope does not have. Yeah, I bet at some point it's going to be standard for the industry just because of the safety factor. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've already installed it on our company vehicles because our engineers, when they go out and use our winches and test them, again, it's safer, faster, easier. Yeah, I completely agree. Well, Matt, you guys are killing it here with the industry. I really appreciate you talking to me and you have a great show. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you really appreciated all of the awesome stuff that we got here from SEMA 2021. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and follow us on IG. It's adventure underscore, and we'll see you guys next time.